Hi guys, it's me, Susan, and uh, doing my favorite thing again, although I'm not really napping. I'm napping, um, I'm resting till I start doing my exercises in a few minutes, so it's not quite napping till bedtime. Jolie is here with me, bothering me. Just a minute, let me show you her. Jolie, say hello. Okay, forget that. She's not saying hello. Um, anyway, I just, I just decided to uh, come on just real quick because so many of you are kindly... Uh, following up and checking with me on how the uh, my final exam went today, and um, it uh, it went fine uh, as far as the logistics of it. It was quite pleasant actually, because um, they just they give you this shoot you up with this uh, radioactive glucose, which doesn't feel like anything, and then you go lie on this really nice recliner in this dark room under warm blankets for an hour. So that was kind of fun. Um, but they won't tell me anything until uh, the uh, the doctor's going to get the results in a few days. But my appointment with him is not until next Tuesday. So I'm my guess is, especially from what they said about how he sort of likes to control his uh, the information. Uh, I won't know until next Tuesday. I'm going to try calling in a few days because they will have the results by then. But uh, it sounds like I shouldn't expect too much. So um, well, we've waited this long, so we'll wait another week. Um, I continue to feel uh, optimistic, and also uh, um, I'm I'm doing much better as far as my my walking and um, my mood. Um, I don't know how much of that came through to you, but I was kind of um, kind of discouraged. I didn't feel like I was making very much progress. Uh, so two things happened to change that. One is I started making a little more progress. My uh, my um, physical therapist told me to stop using my crutch, even my one crutch, at home and just try to hobble around as best I can. And um, so I'm doing that and uh, it's helping and I'm, I'm, I'm really able to get around, although I look ridiculous. I mean, I literally am hobbling around. Um, and the other thing that happened was he said to me, you know, that's a huge surgery that you had and really six to eight months uh, recovery, total recovery time is what you should be looking at. Because I was asking him, you know, like, can I go, can I travel in June and go to Cancun or something? Uh, and uh, he said, you can walk around. You'll be able to walk around Cancun, but as far as climbing up into the, into the uh, ruins, the Mayan ruins, you'll probably have a hard time with that. So that's when he said the six to eight month thing, and it made, although I didn't like hearing that, it certainly made it a little more understandable that I wouldn't be quite ready to do pirouettes and uh, hop around uh, in a in a uh, graceful manner at this time. So uh, I don't know, I think it feels better to me to be uh, walking around without assistance even though it looks like I need assistance but um, and uh, so that's all. So I, I just wanted to fill you in in case some of you would be checking in to see what was happening and um, I'm um, doing well and things are things are sort of you know moving along in their own slow paced little manner um, I read an interesting article in the uh, AARP magazine uh, that just came today about uh, being I, I don't remember what the title of it was for people who are jolted out of their comfort zone by events in life that this often often happens to you, whether it's losing a job or being in an accident or um, someone dying or something, and um, they have a term called post-traumatic growth. And while a lot of the traumas that were in the article are probably worse than mine, I mean, to me, this this is traumatic just in the removal of control. As I said to you, for a control freak, it's not good to not have control. Um, but the post-traumatic growth really is what I'm experiencing is that it, it often leads, such an event often leads a person to kind of reevaluate and maybe face some things they need to face. Uh, for me, that is, I've got to make some um, changes. I was already thinking this after the cancer thing, but I have to start winding down my uh, my um, work hours and start uh, focusing more on enjoying my life. And I have some plans for how to do that. But uh, I don't know. It's just uh, kind of slowing down in general and making me uh, uh, think differently about a few of the things that I've always taken for granted. Um, all of that's happening, and that's, I think, ultimately going to make this a very important experience for me as well. So uh, thanks again. I will keep you posted. I uh, will probably check in once more before next Tuesday. 
Um, or if I have any big news uh, sooner than that, I certainly will. But it looks like we're not going to find out anything if I pass my exam until next Tuesday. So I'll get back with you then. In the meantime, remember to live well, laugh often, and love much. And I'll see you soon on the Broken Hip Club. Bye.